Hello everybody, my name is Contrice and welcome to my channel. My goal is to inspire and motivate through fashion, words of encouragement, or being authentically me on purpose. So if this interests you, please stay tuned. So today's video is going to be some looks that are boho inspired, but also all from a consignment store, all consignment store finds. All of them also are under $10, yes. Um, only one of them is $8, the rest are $5 and less. So they're all great, amazing finds. And being that I owned a consignment, an upscale consignment boutique before I started this whole channel, this type of thing is just so in my lane. I love finding good deals and really cute items for less. I love luxury items as well, but I also find those on deals. But these, all these looks are going to be cute, casual looks that you can wear through the week, but they're very low cost. So let's get started with the first look, which is going to be this floral print romper that I got from a consignment store. Um, it was $6. It has pockets. Oh, you gotta love pockets, especially in like a jumpsuit or a romper. Um, it has a zipper in the back, so it's very easy to put on and it's not exposed. So um, it actually, the print flows very well in the back. Um, I had to sew a small little spot on it where the seam had came undone, but for $6, come on now, how can you beat that? So I'm gonna go try this on and I'll okay, be right guys, back. so I love this romper. Um, like I said, I only paid $6 for it. You can't beat it. The pockets are amazing. It fits really, really well. It's so comfortable. Um, I'll turn around so you can see how the back looks. I love the neckline as well. Like I wear a lot of Bohemia inspired looks. That's kind of my style um, when I'm more casual. Um, if I'm not in leggings and a t-shirt, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have on something that's Bohemia inspired. I'm kind of a hippie at heart. Um, so I love these type of looks. I love comfortable. I'm not really big on structure. So a lot of the looks that you'll see on this channel will be um, more flowy type things. So I love how this fits and you can't be $6 for a romper and just having to fix one little spot on the seam. Um, I think this is a really good look. So we'll go ahead and move to the next look, which will be this blue dress. Um, I actually paid $8 for this one. This was the most expensive look that I'll be showing you today. Um, I saw it in the consignment store here and I just, I had to have it. Um, I'll show you how the details of the embroidery, I know a lot of people don't care about stuff like that, but I do because I went to school for fashion merchandising. Um, the detail of the embroidery is really, really good. I love the fringe detail. Um, it's a really cute look. I would wear it with some cowboy boots. I am such a Southern girl at heart, so throw this on with some cowboy cowgirl boots, and I think um, it's a complete look. So I will go and try this on, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and I tried the dress on. I absolutely love the fringe detail of this. Um, it's so boho. It looks like something that you would get from free people for like hundreds of dollars, but um, this brand is kind of like a off type brand, so I'm not gonna name it. But um, it's only eight dollars. Like you really, you can't beat it. So I'll turn around so you can see the back. I mean, I love anything that's just flowy and shaky, but I love the fringe detail of this dress. Um, it's really well made. Um, it's a, it would be a brand that you haven't heard of probably, but um, I love the cut of it. I have on the wrong type of bra for this, but 
It's so cute. Consignment is all about just finding cute items. I love the hunt of it all. Um, it's about finding cute items for less and then just you rocking the look. Like, honestly, you don't have to pay thousands of dollars for stuff. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars for purses. You can get those on consignment. You can find really great items in consignment stores. Um, try to find the better quality stores. Honestly, some thrift stores, you can find really good deals, but um, like how my store used to be, you could go in and find amazing quality items that um, for really, really cheap. And that is what I love about consignment shopping. So I know some people don't like to wear secondhand, but I call it pre-love. I ab absolutely love items that I'm not paying full price for that I can rock. Like this is a winner. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the next look. And this is one of my favorites out of everything I'll be showing you. It is a vintage, a vintage jumpsuit. And I believe that it was handmade just by the stitching and everything. But it does have pockets. And um, it has a zipper in the back. And I love the spaghetti straps. Um, I did have to sew a little part of the top. Um, I had to sew that back, but you guys will not believe how much I paid for this. I literally paid $3 for this. $3. I love the print of it. Um, and for $3, like, come on, you if you get one wear out of this, you've already won. So um, I'm going to go try it on, and um, I'll be okay, right back. So I tried on the jumpsuit, and I, I really, really like it. Um, so I'm going to, like, stand on this stair so you can see the bottom before I get down. So it doesn't go all the way down, but um, it's really cute. I just wanted to show you this before I step down. Um, for $3, you can't beat it. It has pockets. I love the little crisscross straps. Like I said, I absolutely love flowy items. So this is really comfortable. You can throw on some flats with it and just go. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the next look and this one is a dress by Express that I actually got from a consignment store. Um, I paid five, about $5 for it. Um, I love the fact that it has a keyhole back. So most of the back is out. And then I love the, the, the spaghetti straps. I'm absolutely a fan of spaghetti straps. I just love them. So it has the spaghetti straps and um, it's an older dress. But I don't really shop based off of years that items come out or anything like that. I really dress based off of what I like. Um, I buy based off of what I like. I'm 40. I don't try to fit in the trends too much. I kind of just go with what I feel. And, I, and a tip about fashion in general is if you wear what you're comfortable wearing and try not to fit so much into trends or what's going on and what other people are doing you'll feel more confident in what you're wearing if it's something that you're comfortable in and it fits your own personal style so my personal style is more laid back more chill for the most part i do like um nice luxury items as well but just on the like when i'm chilling nine times out of ten i'm gonna be comfortable so I like to still be cute when I'm comfortable. So the bohemian look, the, the whole vibe is just really my style. And when it fits your personality, it 
you can tell when somebody feels comfortable in what they're wearing. So shop based off of what you like, not trends. Um, the days of fashion where people try to keep up with it, unless you're a celebrity or something, honestly, all the rules have kind of went out the window. You just kind of dress for what you like and um, you'll feel better that way, I promise you. So I'm gonna go try this dress on and show you, because honestly, you can't really see it without me trying it on. So I'll go put it on and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, before we get to this dress, I just wanna say if you like the fashion I've been putting out the last couple of weeks, um, just follow me on Instagram. The link is in the channel banner or it's um, Catrice underscore Young Faye. So this express dress is so comfortable and so cute. And like I was saying before about the keyhole detail, I absolutely love the back. The back is really, really cute. Anything that's flowy and comfortable, I'm all about it. And this channel is really about just giving you inspiration so you can get some ideas when you're out in the store looking and you can just kind of think of, oh, that, that was something like what Country said, Pat, if you like my style. So um, this dress is just super comfortable for the amount I paid for, you can't beat it. And I love shopping at Express, the store, but when you can catch some Express items in the thrift stores and consignment stores that's in your size, that is like a big win. So go ahead and pick those items up. So I'll show you the dress one more time before I get to our last item. All right, so the last item I'm gonna show you guys is this Forever 21 romper. And honestly, I don't usually buy a lot of um, like Forever 21 items from consignment because they're already so cheap in the store itself that you might as well just go ahead and buy it because they have so many sales. Um, you can get it for around about the same price so if it's more than like $3 um, in the store, in consignment stores, I won't even pick it up. But this was $3 and it is a beautiful print. Like, I love the print. The print is amazing. Um, it has a V-back, so it's a very sexy back. And it has the adjustable straps with, if you saw my last video, you'll know I absolutely love um, adjustable straps. This express dress doesn't have the adjustable straps, but the crisscross and everything makes it fit really good. Um, it has pockets. You can't beat that. I love a pocket. So it has pockets. And um, it is just, it's kind of short, but... I mean, for those casual, comfortable days, it'll be really good. So I'm gonna go try it on. And hey guys, so I tried on the romper and it's really comfortable. Um, the pockets are cute. And I love the back. Like having the V back, it makes it comfortable, yet sexy. So, I would wear this like on a vacation or like to the airport or something to where I want to look cute but like throw on some flats with it and still look cute. And the adjustable straps aren't the best. I have it all the way pulled here and it could they could be a little bit better, honestly. But The colors are great in this too. So great for spring. And if it's a little cool, you can throw on like a jean jacket or something with it. But thank you guys for tuning in to this week's video and I will see you next week where I'll be coming in with a motivational word of encouragement. Have a good day.